I mean, you've had a heck of a late season run, and you did it again tonight. Um, a lot of amazing plays. Uh, one of them was uh, that bounce pass that you do with the double team. Uh, what was your favorite? Do you have a favorite play out of those? You made like four or five in a row there. Um, Three-pointer, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I like three pointer. I, I think I like the J Rock pass even more, only because like I threw it, not knowing like I just saw him, and I, I was like, okay, I hope he's open. Like I didn't see if there was someone there to steal it or someone behind him. So I think that one was probably my favorite. What's kind of uh, <coughs> to this just amazing run of late uh, late game success you've had over the last couple of weeks? I think just a lot of hard work. I mean, I, I put in a lot of work during practice and after practice, just working on my shot, um, just knowing. Just preparing myself to be in these situations, knowing that this is a long, this is a long stretch, and my team needs me to you know sometimes just go out there and, and, and score and make plays. Coach trusts me with the ball in his hands, and, and I want to you know continue to earn that trust and and ha have my guys have faith in me that I'm going to make the right play every time down the stretch. Did you say anything after the three pointer? Did you say anything? <laughs> Celebration. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I was like, I think I said, I'm not going home sad. I didn't, I didn't want to lose today. <laughs> yeah. That's what you said? Home court? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so are you, is this your designated role? You're the closer um, on this team? I mean, I think, you know, I just, I don't try to be. I just try to make the right play. I know, I know they started doubling me. And then J-Rock, I passed it to J-Rock. He passed it to Tiger. Tiger hit a big three, and I think Dave got another big three. I mean, this is an all-team collective effort. Um, you know, coach just trusts me at the end to just, you know, Try to make the right play and my teammates they step up as well but there was a stretch where i think you guys went six minutes without a field goal mm -hmm. i mean what did you guys say to each other to you know close strong after you know that drought that if we're not scoring that they can't score that's kind of our mentality you know if we're going to get good shots we're going to you know sometimes they don't go in but as long as that happens you can't let um you can't let the opposing team score as well are you guys getting better as the season goes along I think so, but I think there's also some things we need to clean up as well. Um, a little, little, um, I guess, mental errors down the stretch that um, can hurt us in, in, in a much bigger game. And uh, I think we just got to clean those up. But we're going to watch the film. I mean, this is this is a tough team to play. Um, you know, they're, they're where they are for a reason. And I'm just happy we came out with doing it. You guys can clinch a tie for the title with two games to go on Sunday. How much do you guys want? To clinch a tie? You can clinch a tie for the Pac-12 championship. The win on Sunday. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Jalen Clark had some sweet baby rays on the trip. Do you know why he brought that? He loves barbecue sauce. <laughs> does, he, does he really use that when he's? Yeah, he uses it all the time. <laughs> he's a big barbecue sauce guy. He always carries that with him. I mean, Thanks. what's the ceiling for this team? The national championship. I think that's what we got. That's your goal. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. They were like, I think that's right. Maybe they were. That yeah, sound yeah. About sounds right. right. Yeah, I think it was 64, 68. Um, so how, how big was that three? I think Jalen was the one that got you on the pass. Yeah, you know, um, he just found me, and I was ready to shoot. And like when I shot it, it felt good. So I'm just happy with it. I'm just happy with it. You had a big game today. Um, a lot of points and assists. Uh, I don't know that kind of happened. Uh, you came on the stage with so much instinct. Uh, you know, I expect it. Um, you know, I work really hard, so when games like this happen, you know, um, it's not really anything surprising for me, but I'm still thankful that I had a good game. My teammates found me, and uh, like I said, I'm just happy we won. could come out here. Uh, Utah is a great team with a great coach. They play really hard to the buzzer, and uh, they fought really hard, and I'm just happy with them. And so I may, sorry, I may have some huge plays as well down there, and he's been really good late in games lately. What have you seen from him that's helped you guys? Um, just like you said, really, really good plays late in the game. You know, he's kind of uh, one of our closers, and um, he just seems to know when to put the ball in the basket and when to pass. And you know, he has everything you know that you would want out of an All-American senior. So, just he's a great player. Sometimes is it a little bit different challenge when you come into the game and you know that two of their guards are hurt and you you, you don't know who else is going to play. Was it a little bit different for you guys coming into this, or are you not worried about that? Um. You know, we just come out ready to play. 
you know, they had a really good guard tonight, Saunders. He had a really good game, so, you know, congrats to him. But, you know, we uh, weathered the storm at the end when they had their run, and uh, we just figured out a way to pull it out. So. And what, what is the key to figuring out how to, to finish at the end that you guys have, you know, you learned last year, but it seems like you're doing even better this year? I think it's just, um, to, one, taking care of the ball, mm -hmm. and two, you know, not relying on your offense. And, uh, you know, relying on your defense to get things done, especially on the road, because the team is going to feel more comfortable at home. So we got to try to take them out of stuff and, you know, still play our game. Was it like that, Chris Smith, as part of the celebration? It was great. He's a great guy. It's good to see him. Did Johnny make it or not? I think he was here. I didn't see him, but, okay. uh, you know, he's a great player too, great guy. So whether he came or not, <laughs> you had Bill Ledridge, one of the all-time great Bruins. Did you get a chance to talk to him at all? Yeah, I actually introduced myself to him, you know. Had a small conversation. I like to keep between us, but, yeah. <laughs> great player, good guy. You know, yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.